Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we'll be showing you how to replace a rear outside door handle on this 1995 Honda Accord, um, same as any 94 to 97 Accord four door, uh, four door sedan or wagon. Tools you'll need are pretty basic Phillips screwdriver, a regular screwdriver, a putty knife and a rag or a door panel clip tool. And you'll need a large Phillips screwdriver or a bit and ratchet, and you'll see what I mean for the uh, lock mechanism. And then you also need a 10 millimeter socket with ratchet and extension. Okay, we're going to kind of speed through taking the door panel off. If you want to see this uh, part of the video in regular motion, um, just check out our other videos for the door panel removal and replace for the rear. Once you have your door panel off, you're going to want to remove uh, this bracket, which is going to allow you to take your water shield off. And as you can see, somebody just pretty much just ripped through the water shield on this car. Uh, I don't recommend doing it because the water shield helps keep the water out of your car. So after you've removed your uh, door panel and your uh, water shield, you want to use a Phillips screw and or a Phillips screwdriver and remove this Phillips screw right here. Okay, that allows you to push this guide back and then down and pull it out. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove these three screws back here for this lock mechanism. And if you're lucky, on, like on this car, this car I think has been apart before, so the screws come right out. Now, if your car has never been apart, then you need one of two things. This is called an impact driver, um, but this is a little on the expensive side. This is the right tool for the job. You actually put it in, and then you twist, and then you use a hammer to bang it, and it actually both drives into the screw and, uh, and turn, unturns it or releases it, uh, but more likely you can get a bit with a large um, Phillips head and put that in and uh, get them off because on this you would actually use a ratchet driver and you have more leverage. You push it in and peel it off and this only costs maybe two or three bucks at the most. So, um, But luckily again Okay, so I can remove these screws. Access your door handle next. Uh, you remove this 10 millimeter bolt right here. Okay, that kind of allows, there's a window channel here. You can see it's shaking a little bit as I pull. You just kind of pull on that and then pull your lock mechanism down. Okay, and then there's two bolts. One right in there, and you can see we had to pull that mechanism down to be able to get to it easily. And then that one right there, which is very easy to get to. Okay, so I'll remove those two, and those are both 10 millimeter bolts as well. And then once those bolts are removed, your handle comes right out. Okay, and what happens a lot is this arm right here breaks off, or a piece in here comes apart. Uh, or people will just break them to get into the car. Uh, and obviously, um, to put it back on, put it back in, I'll hold it in place. I usually start this inside bolt first because it's so easy to get to. how I did that I actually just kind of I held it like this and made sure I kept it tilted up so that bolt stayed in there so I could guide it right into the hole okay. 
It'll probably you might drop it a couple times, but it goes right out down into the door, and it's pretty easy to get. And then I'm going to tighten those. Not incredibly tight, but firm. Three bolts here for my latch. And I'll lift it into place here. There's a little lever that comes through here, your little child safety lever. Get that into place. Helps if you uh, tighten up, not all the way, but tighten up the lower one some. And that way you can get your upper ones in and they'll bite. I'll just push them back with the, one of the rods here, put some pressure on it. And now that they're all three are in, tighten them up nicely. And after you've done those three screws, I'll put your other screw for this other track in. So make sure it's working. Closed. Okay, and now um, make sure these rods didn't come out at all. And then put this in right underneath. Okay. Get these tabs in. Oh. Get that outside. And then get these tabs in, pull it forward, and then take your screw and tighten that up. Tighten that up. Okay. Make sure it's tight, tight, tight. Okay, now you can put uh, your water shield back on and your door panel back on, you're all set. Unfortunately, this car doesn't have much of a water shield left, so we'll just put this bracket back on, and then our door panel, and be good. And now here again, we're gonna just kind of speed up uh, putting those screws on, and then we're gonna speed through putting the door panel back on. Uh, you probably pick up enough because you've taken it apart and just by watching here but if you want to see this in regular time just check our other videos for uh, the rear door panel removal and replacement. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.